Uh, what's your name? Cameron. Who's your favorite mountain bike rider? Nick Hilton. Heck yeah. Okay, ready? My name is Nick Hilton, and we are at Evolve Action Sports Park, and I'm going to teach you how to do an underfoot. Alright guys, so first off, to be able to cork flip, you got to be able to back flip. Because that's, that's the basis of the cork flip. So, first off, get down your straight back flips. Here at Evolve, we're going to use a foam pit to explain this. Um, I didn't learn this into a foam pit, you don't have to, um, I recommend it. But, this, this ramp is nice because it's got this T right here. And basically, for the cork flip, what you want to do is, as if you're going straight up to the back flip, Whichever way you want to lean on your cork flip is going to determine which way you got to carve off the lip. I personally, I lean to the left, so when I go up the ramp, I start about the middle of the ramp, and I aim my wheel about, about a foot or two over from the center, but I keep my body leaned over the center of the ramp. The entire trick is in a takeoff. Three things happen. You either carve too much to the right, and your bike pretty much does a backflip sideways, and you land facing the way you carve. Otherwise, you don't carve enough, and when you lean, you basically just do a traveling flip, and that's not what you want to do. Um, I actually hit a trampoline during shows this summer doing that. Um, and then also, if you, if you don't look for your landing, you have to keep your face forward. If you don't do that, you will land backwards. And that's why I recommend a foam pit, only because landing straight is a, is a little difficult to figure out. All right, so once you've, once you've played around with it, um, I'm sure you've landed to the right, you've landed to the left, but you just, Maybe even mark tape on the, the top of the lip and just figure out how much you have to carve and how much you have to lean. You gotta do an even balance and just keep looking straight and eventually you'll start to land straight. And uh, once you start landing straight a couple times, uh, you're ready to take it to resin. But for real, you really want to land straight, otherwise you blow your tire up a lot of times. Alright guys, thanks for watching the how-to. Uh, hopefully it helped you out. If you have any comments or questions, let me know.